guys, it's Coach Matt from the Scorpions. This is another one of our skill videos done indoors because of the weather. I just want to get this out there so coaches have access to this and players have access to it for the season. But today we're going to be talking about how to receive the ball as an offensive player. Too often young kids will just sit there and I call it sort of the Oliver uh, poor me. Please, sir, please may I have the ball? So they're, they're asking for the ball, but they're not really doing anything to create space for themselves. So at the younger levels, you may be able to stand and demand the ball, but as you get being covered by defensemen who actually are doing a good job, you're gonna to need to do something to get yourself open off the ball. So we're talking about that here. So the basic move to get open off the ball is something called the V cut, all right? So a V cut <clears throat> requires you to take three hard steps in one direction and then three steps in the other direction. Sometimes you can switch hands, one, two, three, and one, two, three, but you don't have to do that. So we're doing something to create space. One, two, three, and we're popping out one, two, three. It can be a speed move where we do it quickly. It can also be a power move where I'm pushing into my defenseman, getting him on his back heels, and then I'm popping out. So ways to work this in a practice would be anytime they're doing an offensive drill, demand that they do a V-cut. A basic way to do it is obviously isolate that where a coach passes them the ball, another player passes them the ball. One, two, three, one, two, three, we're doing that V-cut. Sometimes what happens is that we're gonna be overplayed by our defenseman to this outside hand. If that happens and I can't get open off ball, then what I should be trying to do is something called a backdoor cut. So in a V cut, we're doing three steps in and three steps out. <clears throat> With a backdoor cut, I'm being overplayed to this side. I can't get open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three hard steps to this direction, to the inside direction. So I'm going back door. So one, two, three, one, two, three. I see that I'm being covered. One, two, three. I'm gonna flash my stick. You see I'm coming towards the cage and back door. <clears throat> So you can practice that as well. So just isolate it, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and have them cut it and go to the goal. <clears throat> so those are the basic ways to receive the ball. If we're not able to get the ball that way and we're adjacent to the person with the ball, then the next thing we should be thinking about doing is going through. So what that's gonna do is gonna vacate space for him to allow him to dodge and it allows us some rotation and space to be created for that offensive play to happen. So to reiterate, in receiving the ball as an offensive player, we don't wanna be just demanding the ball by standing there. What we wanna be doing is doing a V cut, one, two, three, three hard steps in, three hard steps out. If we're being overplayed to this outside, then we're gonna work on the backdoor cut. Backdoor cut does three hard steps in, three hard steps out as in a V cut but then we're three, doing three hard steps towards the middle of the cage. This enables us to potentially get a nice, quick slam dunk. <clears throat> if we're not able to get open from there, we probably should just rotate through. The last point I guess we could say is, if somebody's really playing you so that you can't get any daylight, something you may also think about doing besides moving through at the upper levels, and we'll talk about this in subsequent videos, is setting up pick. So that's a good way to jam up two defensemen but more of an advanced concept. For the younger kids, you just want them thinking about moving their feet when they don't have the ball. So V-cut and backdoor cut is the best way to do it. Thanks.